Welcome back to another video, my name is Simon and today we're gonna talk about how you can light your videos better and we're gonna go from this to this. First of all, let's talk about what lighting gear you need. All the gear that I use will be linked down below. Obviously, a main light source. For people on a budget, I would recommend a cheap softbox. There are plenty of them on Amazon for like 30 bucks. And there are many lighting kits on Amazon that are really cheap. If you're on a bigger budget, I would recommend you to make sure you buy a softbox. There are many great LED panels out there, but a softbox just gives you the smoothest light. A reflector or a fill light is also nice to have. I currently use a reflector, you can pick some up for like 20 bucks, they're really cheap. But if you buy a fill light, I would make sure that it has the same color temperature as your main light source. A hair light is more optional. It gives a nice and more professional look to your videos. Last but not least, some lights for your background. You can literally use your desk lamp if you're on a really tight budget, but I would recommend something colorful to make you stand out more. I'm currently using some Hue light strips under my desk and my PC with some RGB. But you can literally put a monitor in the background, works pretty good too. Okay, let's set this up. First of all, turn off your room lights and if there is daylight coming in through a window, cover it up if it's too bright. That's better. Oh shit. Fuck, we got no light. Uh, let me just... I didn't think about this part of the video. <laughs> this is just my phone. After that, position your main light source. I would recommend you to put your main light source in a little bit of an angle, not straight in front of you, so you have a little bit more shadow on one side of your face. That's just to make sure your face doesn't look too flat and it gives a little bit more of a cinematic look. You can make more or less shadow, that's just the style you want to go with. After that, we're gonna fill up some of that shadow so people can still see your whole face. This is where your reflector or your fill light comes in place. If you have a fill light, make sure it's not at the same brightness level as your main light source because you still want to have some of that shadow. Position it at an angle again. This is position. You can see it right here. If you if you have too much this is when my reflector hits me hard it's it's just as it's just the same as you would put your main light source right in front of you so we just want to have a little bit more of a subtle feel like like this is not enough like right right here you can also have a colorful fill light if you want to i use a hu light bulb as a fill light for my face right now Depends on what style you want to go with, you can have blue or like more of a red tone. The Hue light bulbs are not that great for lights for videos because they are just not bright enough. They are okay to be a room light, but anything else, they are just not bright enough. And I mean, it's almost as expensive as a cheap softbox, so at the end, depends on your budget. Now let's turn on that hair light. I just use my Elgato key light on the desk over there. It's, I mean, it's enough for this kind of setup. You can see there is this shine on my head over here. This is also another light that you can pick to be more colorful. It can help with the style of your video, but that depends on you. Right now, I don't have any other lights standing around. So I just use my Elgato key light. Should be enough. So now the background lights. These lights can make your footage more interesting and can give a lot of color and personality to your shots. I just turn on my Hue light strips and put something interesting like the offline screen of my stream on my monitor. Twitch.tv slash Simonin69 if you're interested, link down below. That's way better. You can see the background is now more interesting and um. I'm more in focus of this video. The background does not have like the same lighting conditions as I have or as the foreground like my mic or something. It it just 
makes you stand out more of the background and gives a little bit of personality because every youtuber or content creator has different background okay now let's compare this was before with just my room lighting nothing more it's really boring there's not much going on in the background not many colors it's just not a professional looking shot and this is with better lighting more professional looking shots it's inter more interesting because you now have lighting in the background there's different colors going on it's just way better and all of this for only 217 bucks you can go even cheaper with some lighting kits on amazon but i just noticed that too late okay so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something new today if you like this video and you want to see more content like this don't forget to like and subscribe there will be more content on my channel in the future and for those of you who don't know i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday on my twitch channel link is down below and i hope i'll see you next time peace out and have a good one bye Obviously a main light Obviously a main light source for people on a budget I would recommend this f A hair light is more optional if you want to pick one up just make sure it blah blah shut the fuck up I got my hue light strips under my desk and my PC with some RGB in the background but you can also put just some monitors in the background with something interesting on them. Fuck. I forgot to put something interesting on my monitor and now I'm talking about my monitor being interesting. just things to do with the book. Creeper, oh man. There needs to be a difference between both, between the sides of your between both sides of your face. Fuck, what is that English thing then? <laughs> and this is afterwards with some fucking great ass lighting. Look at this mind blown. <laughs>